Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to add an additional IP address in the CentOS system, VPS or dedicated server. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we will see the prerequisites of it. First one is your VPS or dedicated server must have CentOS 7.x OS. Second one is you must have root access or access to a user with pseudo privileges. In order to add the additional IP addresses in your system, VPS or dedicated server, we will create a virtual interface and assign multiple IP addresses. For that you need to perform the following steps. Step 1. Check the network device name, Nick. Step 2. Create a new configuration file of network interface based on the current network interface file. Step 3. Edit the newly created configuration file of network interface. Step 4. Restart the network service. Step 5. Verify the new added IP addresses. Let's go through the steps in detail. Step 1. Check the network device name, Nick. Here, we are login into our demo VPS with CentOS 7 OS to perform the steps. We are login in with root users. In order to get the network device name, you need to check the current network interface information of your system. For that you need to execute the following command in the terminal. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. Here, we would like to inform you that the network device name will be started with Eno, or Ed0. In our demo VPS system, the network device name is Ed0. It is a default interface for the Ethernet device. It may be different for your VPS or dedicated server. Step 2. Create a new configuration file of network interface based on the current network interface file. In order to create a new configuration file of network interface, first you need to go to the network scripts directory. As you know that the network card configuration file is stored under slash etc slash syscconfig slash network scripts slash. So we need to go on this path. Execute the following command in the terminal to go to the network scripts directory. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. Type ls command in the terminal to see the network card interface. It will start with the name ifcfg network card name. In our demo VPS system, it is named with ifcfg at zero. To create a new configuration file of network interface, you need to make a copy of the existing network interface file. Let's assume that you want to add two IP addresses in your system. In that case, you need to create two virtual interfaces to bind the IP addresses in the network interface card. Execute the following command in the terminal to make a copy of network interface. Copy the command. Paste in the terminal and press enter. Here, colon 0 and colon 1 are the device interface number to create the aliases for interface at 0. For each alias you must assign a number sequentially. 
For example, we have copied the existing parameters of interface, IFCFG at 0, in virtual interfaces called IFCFG at 0 colon 0 and IFCFG at 0 colon 1. Type ls command in the terminal to see whether it is copy or not. You can see that new configuration files are created with the name IFCFG at 0 colon 0 and IFCFG at 0 colon 1. Step 3. Edit the newly created configuration file of network interface. In order to edit any file in the Linux system, you need to use text editors. Here, we will use a nano text editor to edit configuration files. Type ls command in the terminal to see the configuration file of network interface. Make sure that the newly created configuration file is presented there. Here, we can see that the newly created configuration file is created. Important note. Please don't make any changes in the default network interface IFCFG at zero. If you make any changes on it, your system will be inaccessible. Type nano in the terminal. Enter the name of the newly created configuration file and press enter. Here, we have used IFCFG at 0 to 0 because we have created it. In the newly created configuration file, we only need to change two parameters device and IP address. In the device name, append colon and enter the number of aliases. It should be the same name which you have used while creating the newly configuration file. Here, we have added 0 as a number of aliases because we have used 0 while creating the newly configuration file. In the IP address field, enter the IP address which you want to add in your system, VPS or dedicated server. Here, we have used 192.168.2.151 as an example. Now, we need to save the file. In order to save the file, we need to press Ctrl plus X from the keyboard. After then type Y in the field Save Modified and press Enter. The file has been saved. Now, we will edit the second configuration file of the network interface. We will follow the same process to edit it. Type nano in the terminal. Enter the name of the second newly created configuration file and press enter. Here, we have used IFCFG at 0 to 1 because we have created it. In the device name, append colon and enter the number of aliases. It should be the same name which you have used while creating the second newly configuration file. Here, we have added 1 as a number of aliases because we have used 1 while creating the second newly configuration file. 
in the IP address field. Enter the another IP address which you want to add in your system, VPS or dedicated server. Here, we have used 192.168.2.154 as an example. Now, we need to save the file. In order to save the file, we need to press Ctrl plus X from the keyboard. After then type Y in the field Save Modified and press Enter. The file has been saved. Step 4. Restart the network service. Now, we need to restart the network service for the changes to reflect. Execute the following command in the terminal to restart the network service. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. Step 5. Verify the new added IP addresses. This is the most important step. Whenever we add any number of IP addresses in the network card, we need to verify it whether it is added or not. In order to verify all the aliases, virtual interface, are up and running, we need to execute the following command in the terminal. Copy the command. Paste it in the terminal and press enter. You can see that the newly created virtual interface are added. Now, we will ping each newly added IP address from different system. If everything set up correctly, you will get a ping response from each of them. Here, we are going to ping the newly added IP address from my local system. You can see that we are getting a ping response that means all is good. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to add an additional IP address in the CentOS system, VPS or dedicated server. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like this video, please click on the thumb button. Please click on the subscribe button if you want to view such easy to understand technical videos published by AccuWebHosting.com. Thank you for watching.